in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can create restricted routes inside a React application. As you know, anyone can access this home page. You don't need to be authorized to access the home page of this website. I want to make this home page restricted. If the user successfully log in, I'm going to redirect the user to this home page. Otherwise, I'm going to add some restriction to the user and only the authorized user can access this home page. So let me show you how you can create that inside the React application. So I'm going to back to my project and here you can notice inside these pages, I have here a home page. So I'm going to open the home.js file. Here I'm going to have my home page. Now inside this home page, what we are going to do is I'm going to access my store value. So at the top, I'm going to simply say import in the curly braces. I'm going to say use selector from React Redux. I'm going to use hook of React Redux, which is use selector. Using this use selector hook, we can access the current state of the Redux store. So inside this function, here I can simply create a variable constant user is equal to and then I'm going to call this hook use selector and inside that you need to pass a callback function. So I'm going to simply say here state and I'm going to just simply return the current state to this user variable. Let me show you what we are going to have inside this user variable. I'm going to say console.log and print my user variable. Back to my browser, I'm going to have my current state as a response. You can notice here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to access this is logged in property from this store. This time I have false inside this property. But when I successfully logged in, I'm going to change this property to true. So I'm going to just see here dot and then I'm going to use this property here like this. So now inside this user variable, I'm going to have this property value. If I reload the browser, you can notice I'm going to have false as a result. So inside the user variable, I'm going to have this false value. So just thought that once I have the current status of the user, so using this variable, I can get the current status of the user. This time, as you can notice inside this user, I have false. So just down here, I can just simply say, if inside this user, I'm going to just add here explanation mark. And here I'm going to say, if we have false here inside this user variable, I'm going to execute this if statement. I only want to execute this if statement when we have false inside this user variable. If I remove this exclamation mark right from here, if statement is not going to execute because inside this user variable, we have false. The if statement is going to execute only when you have true value inside this parenthesis. So this time, I'm going to just invert this condition. So I'm going to add here exclamation mark. And if we have false inside this user variable, I'm going to execute this if statement. But instead of just adding this if statement inside this home function, I'm going to grab this if statement and I'm going to just use here a hook called use effect. And inside this use effect, I'm going to simply add my if statement just like this. Just out of that, you need to import this use effect hook inside your file. So from this react module, you can import this use effect hook. So just specify here comma and in the curly braces, you can specify here use effect. So you can access the use effect hook from the react module. Use effect is going to help us to tell the React application to do something after render method. So when the React application renders something after that, I'm going to execute this use effect. And inside this use effect, I'm going to say if we have false value inside this user, I'm going to simply redirect the user to the login page. Because as you know, if we have false inside this user variable, if this is login is going to be false, the user is not the authorized user. I'm going to change this value only when the user successfully log in. Inside this if statement, I'm going to redirect the user to the login page. So I'm going to simply use here a hook called use history. So I'm going to say here import in the curly braces. I'm going to say use history from and I'm going to call here react router DOM. So from the react router DOM module, I'm going to call here use history hook. And just down here, I'm going to say constant history is equal to use history and inside this if statement I'm going to say history dot push and I'm going to push the user to the login page so I'm going to say here login and just like that as a dependency here I'm going to specify user and history back to my project and as you can see I'm going to redirect to my login page instead of the home page if I try to back to my home page you can notice react will going to redirect me to the login page if I specify my user credential inside these input text boxes and click on this login button, I can easily access the home page. And now if we try to print this is login value in the console, 
you will get true as a response. Let me show you. If I just print this value just down here before this return statement, if I say here console.log and print this user, when I save the changes, as you can see, I'm going to have true as a response. If you want, you can use use store hook to access the current state of your application and you can print your current state inside a console. That's upon you. So once you understand how you can restrict the user from accessing the home page of your website, in the next lecture, I'm going to show you how you can add a logout feature to your website.